missing kid. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. All right, I can't wait. <laughs> Look, it's Benjamin from the Hoots in the Woods. <laughs> you know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you. Foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Going to the park? Yes. Okay. Slow so down, you fuck! Misfortune. What? Language. Ah. Yes, Miss Fortune. Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make Mummy proud. Yes. It says, don't feed the bird. Ah, okay. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign and Hmm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yeah, listen to this one. Both hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh, look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. All right. Uh, 
Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. Remember that fish you picked up earlier? You mean Rodrigo? My fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm, I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do, I guess. This fish brings you as much joy and love as it did to me. That was very kind of you. Thank you. What? Oh no! Rodrigo is dead now. Of course. Seagulls love eating fish. Why didn't you say something? Well, now you know. Isn't it fun to learn? I guess so. I'll bury him later. Would you like to ride the royal halls of the park? Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. Look at me. I'm on the horse. Ay, horsey, stop it. Oh. Ah, oh, that was unfortunate. Are you alright? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. <laughs> Check out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Of course. Check this out. Unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. Would you like to ride this one? It's like a tornado. Nah, too much rolling for the little lady. Looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. Ah, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. 
exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question, have you ever stolen anything? for you. Second question. Are you happy right now? Yes. I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? Stony so much. He's just a rock and doesn't get angry or sad. I wish I could be like that sometimes. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Check this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell Mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, uh, okay. Nice. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, where is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish. All right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No. Use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Ah, that shovel. Okay. One says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> nah. Okay, let's see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> This is the fish. Hmm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm. Erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! Nah, this is obviously a cat. It says. Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Yeah, yikes forever. Nah, I don't think so. Ah, let's see. Roger the Magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha, huh. I don't get it. Think so. I'll keep looking. Look, this grave is available. What do you want to do? I think I'll bury Rodrigo here. He deserves it. Any last words? Rodrigo smelled like a fish. I like that in a fish. 
He was nice. I hope he liked me. Bye, Rodrigo. That was beautiful. Thank you. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Nah, too little information. Where are you going? The graves are waiting for you. Oh, really? I'm such a rude little lady. Let's keep digging. Bubbles. Hmm. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says. I stole your eternal happiness. Signed, Benjamin. It didn't! My eternal happiness! I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. <laughs> Look, there he is, Benjamin. Did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. back my happiness run after him we can't let the fox get away again he stole your prize Benjamin really disappointed me children in pain oh <sighs> Did you find something, Miss Fortune? No, you're imagining things. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Aha, there. That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Put it back. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh? What does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. I wonder 
way, Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. Oh, uh, damn. I dropped it. Oh. Uh. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. What have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake, choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh. Miss Fortune, you're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah, where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See, I told you, that fox is evil. Yeah, maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes, give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. Google search. I found out the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, my shoe is. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Oh, let's just keep going then. Hi, you look 
look familiar. What? Miss Sam, wait a minute. Is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. She's very Italian, you know. <laughs> she probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Ah, okay. Ah, those people in the picture look so happy drinking their juice. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hugs strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm. That man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Drop your wallet. One time mommy took me here and forgot me. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was a raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. Lottery ticket? Cool. Thank you. Well, have a look. Is it a winner? <laughs> ah, pfft. No win. Maybe next time. Sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. I know who owns this store. Who is it? Casey's dad. <laughs> Who's Casey? A friend from school. Haven't seen him for a while though. children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved and that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. <laughs> it says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it. 
Maybe you made a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Uh. Take me to the sky with your friends. So you know, because of you, I can make to the party. Oh, okay. <laughs> Check this out. That street is called Dickens Road. <laughs> Got it? Dickens Road. <laughs> Dick. Misfortune. Ah. Uh, Should I sit down and wait? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Uh, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. Hmm. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always staying. <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I love cows. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Ew, that's a little bull crap. Run for your life, little baby cow! Uh, unlucky things seem to happen all the time. Nesta, you're parking. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. Well, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh? Didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without paying. Hmm. I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. But I haven't got any titties yet, so that might not work. I see. Well, I have an idea. What if we use diversion? Hmm, what does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. <gasps> A wolf! Can I pet the wolf? He looks really sweet. Just wait and see, Miss Fortune. Wait and see. <laughs> okay, I'll wait and then I'll see. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Hello, can I get inside for free? 
Huh, I guess not. Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. Okay, this is breakable. Like, like with a rock or something. Like, like a stone. Hmm, I think I came up with an idea. What if... What if I break this window and make a hell of a noise? <laughs> wow, that's a wild idea, but I like it. Thank you. <laughs> What? Phantasmagoria. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. <laughs> caged animals? By the way, you did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin's cousin is a wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. All right. 